Hi, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we will study about the uh, the custom script extensions for Azure. So this is nothing but a tool which helps you out to execute the scripts on the Azure virtual machine. So this is for once your once your machine is up and running, uh, you, if you want to install your uh, any any kind of software or any kind of uh, post deployment configuration, this tool is basically useful in that case. So this is what uh, Azure uh, uh, defines the uh, custom script uh, script extension here. And if you see the script location, we basically put a script uh, either you can put on the Azure uh, storage or you can also put on the uh, GitHub, which is given here. So and for this, uh, we have to make sure that you have an internet connectivity because if it pulls the file from GitHub, then it should have an internet connectivity there. And few few things about this uh, about the script, because uh, if the script is having a problem, then definitely it will not uh, you will not be able to achieve the things which you are, are trying to, for example, say installing of any of the softwares in the uh, uh, Windows environment. So this is what exactly that is given here. So make sure your syntax, your script is like uh, is free from syntax errors and uh, anything which stops the script. Second thing uh, here is very important on this one. Uh, ensure that the scripts uh, don't require the user input because when they run and they and they require the user input, uh, the your script will fail and it will it will not achieve the desired results. And uh, here this is one more point is your script should not run more than ninety minutes. So if it is running more than ninety minutes, again it will fail and it will time out and it will uh, it will stop the script. So these are a few couple of uh, important tips and tricks are given uh, before you go and uh, make a uh, make any of the scripts here. So now let's see. Uh, this is very important. How, where to store the uh, script location? So now in this case, in this uh, use case or in this lab, what we will do is we will try to install the IIS server uh, on the Windows uh, on the Windows environment and with the help of the script. So let me. So before that, what we have to do is we have to make a storage. So we, I've already made a, made a storage here to uh, <clears throat> in uh, keeping the a uh, time short here so what i have done actually is uh, you can go to your uh, storage account and in the storage account you can go and create a uh, you can create any of the storage which you uh, which is uh, required to store this file so now if you see here uh, uh, the, the important part is the location of the storage so make sure the location of the storage should be same as the location of your vm server and rest all uh, you can uh, you can keep everything as like default and you create your resource group make sure this is standard you can even put a premium here but it is costly so uh, it depends upon how exactly you want to go and again um, a standard uh, put the replication as uh, lrs and storage is v2 and here i've then you once you create the storage account you have to go and create the container and in the container i've just created a test container inside the container if you see here i have this install uh install ps this is like kind of a little bit typo here so you can give any name which is required but make sure the uh the extension is your uh the power skill uh the power uh, script uh, the powershell uh script is the, the extension here and inside this uh, uh, inside this file, uh, there are two commands here, and these two commands basically is nothing but it imports the uh, it imports the uh, server manager, and basically it goes and adds that uh, add the Windows feature to the uh, to the server. So hopefully, uh, now what we can do is we can run this and see how exactly uh, it helps out. So what we can do is I will go back to my uh, I will create a virtual machine here. And let's go and create a virtual machine. And in the virtual machine, what we can do is, okay, so I will keep the same resource group. I will say my test VM. Make sure your uh, region is same as your storage account. This remains same. This basically I will create a Windows server. I'm just creating Azure Spot instance here. One CPU, one vCPU, and 3.5 GB. Uh, I'm keeping everything as minimum here. Uh, let me give the password and ID here by which we will go and log into the server. Uh, disk, I'm just taking it as SDD uh, to save some cost here. Management, this, uh, everything I will put as default. Now let me create this and come back again. And uh, so I was able to uh, make the server up and running. So now let's go and uh, <clears throat> so here in this test VM, what we can do is uh, we can go to this extension now and we can add a file here. So let me search for custom extension script. This is a tool and let me create a, uh, so here I can create an ext uh, uh, the extension and I'm going for my storage account in the container. I can file this, I can select this file. And let me install this file here. Okay, this is argument is optional. We are not requiring any argument in the script. So I will go with OK. And once this is deployed, uh, it should be real quick. 
So, okay, let me come back when this is up and running. Okay, so I was able to uh, deploy the, uh, uh, I was able to deploy that uh, IIS server by using the scripts, so right? Now, so, so the main uh, way to go and see is, uh, you can go and just take a public IP of the VM and you, you can just go and uh, put in the browser and then you can see there, uh, the IIS server is coming up. The web page is coming up. So now for that, make sure that you have this port here, port 80, which is added in your security group for this specific VM. If this is not added, then you will not be able to, uh, even though you have installed IIS server on your VM, you will not be able to access it. So this is this is very important. So how you can go is uh, go and add it. Just go here and say add input uh, security uh, rule here and make sure your, your destination port range is 80 and then uh, make sure if it is production, you cannot say uh, any source. So you have to give an IP address, a set of IP address you have to whitelist and make sure it comes here. But in our testing purpose, I've added as an ATR year and then added the rule here. So I've already added the rule here and, and without adding the rule, you will not be able to access this IS server. So hopefully this was useful for you guys. And uh, just to summarize here, what exactly we have done here. So what we have done first here is we created a VM and then in the VM, I was able, I was, my use case was to go and install the IS server. Now the one way is you go and do it manually, but what we have done, we have used a custom uh, script extension here and we have given the script to that tool and that's this script basically let me show you what exactly was there in the script so this is a this is a two st uh, statement which was part of that script which uh, goes and does the magic and install the is server on the uh, on the vm so with the help of this uh, tool and with the help of the script we have gone and uh, we have uh, we have installed the uh, the is server on this vm and uh, we were able to access this just to make sure to access this is server you have to go and add the port 80 in your uh, security rule now, uh, before we end this, uh, just to make sure, like, uh, before you do anything, uh, and if you're doing your, uh, like, test labs, uh, you have to go and uh, delete your resource because you're responsible for deleting the resource. If you're not deleting it, then Azure will basically go and charge you for all those resources. So the best best way to go and uh, delete the resources, go to the resource group. And in the resource group, just go and select your uh, the resource group, what you have created, and just go and delete the entire resource group. Because if you just create, if you just delete the VM, then there are so many things which is linked to that VM. For example, so your disk, your public IP, your storage, uh, your OS disk, your data disk, everything. So if you just create a, a VM machine, uh, although you have you have deleted your VM machine, but there are so many uh, network card and then a uh, public IP, everything. Your your basically your disk is like most costly, so th uh, they will keep charging you for your storage as well as for your disk. So make sure when you when you delete the entire uh, resource group, it will help you out to uh, delete the entire thing link, which is uh, with this resource group, and and finally you will not be charged for this. So let me go and delete this resource group. So this makes sure you make sure that you're deleting it on purpose. So I'm going and deleting it. So now this is uh, this will go and delete. So make sure you go and track this here. So this should show you an event here. And this event, see if you see here, deleting the resource group KKRG. And this will delete the entire uh, entire uh, resources which is part of this resource group. And uh, finally, it will make sure you're not charged for the any of the resources which is up and running. So thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully it's for this added a value for you. Uh, thanks a lot.